You have the right to remain silent. Anything you do or say will not matter at this point because your skin color has already confessed to the crime. You have the right to attorney who will try as hard as to see that justice is served in a jury of our peers, aka our attorneys, who will have them not matched up to one. If you cannot afford an attorney, won't be appointed to you free of charge because he's also on our bail. <laughs> Do you understand these rights as they have been read to you? Whoa, 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 whoa. I see you reaching for your 9 millimeter wallet. I see you reaching for your 38 caliber inhaler. Don't move. Stop breathing. You're puffing up your chest. I feel threatened. Is that a weapon? Face down, no. Face down, no. Face ground. Pow. Oops. I did it again. I'm a pop star. No, I'm a pop star. No, I'm a cop star. By the time I get back to the precinct, I'll be a rock star. Platform. I have more black names on trophies than BET award winners. Platform. They are going to honor me at the NYPD award dinner. Platform. They are going to throw me a parade. Platform. Because when I platform, they go to the grave. Black boys' tears fall on deaf white ears. Black mothers' tears keep graveyard grass grass. Black men's bones are the gavel to which finalize false convictions. Wake up like boys. It's time to declare war. Yeah. I wonder how Trayvon Martin's mother feels that her son has a household name, but not a household body. I wonder if Freddie Gray's family can still say grace over their food, even though their prayers cannot stop the thief that robbed him of his last breath. I wonder if Tamir Wise died playing cops in Raleigh because he saw the former more innocent than the latter. I wonder. If black mothers are only closer to God because they're steady having to lay rest to their only begotten sons. I wonder if black people are only dark because we're closer to the sun. Well, how many years will it take for us to become bulletproof because we're closer to the guns? I'm tired of going to funerals where babies are buried in bigger boxes than they used to put their toys in. I'm tired of not being able to tell my friends, see you later, we're steady practicing our goodbye words to each other. I'm tired because I'm not able to tell my girlfriend, let's wait till we're married. I'm afraid that she'll see me in a box before she sees me in a tuxedo. I wonder if America when she wakes up and sees that black people ain't sleeping no more because the American dream is the African-American nightmare. I'm tired that laws are written as lullabies to black people and I'm forced to stay woke in this society. I'm tired, I'm tired, I'm tired, I'm tired, I'm tired because I'm forced to stay woke in this society. And if I go back to sleep, I might stay asleep forever.